In yesterday's election, Taiwan voters not only elected their president and vice president, but also the makeup of the country's next legislature. And this is where the results are more complicated. The Democratic Progressive Party, or DPP, lost 10 seats and its majority after eight years of controlling over half of the legislature. But the main opposition, Kuomintang or KMT, doesn't have a majority either. That's because the opposition vote was fractured this year, split between the KMT and its newer rival, the Taiwan People's Party. The country's legislature now has three minority blocs with no one in control. Out of Taiwan's 113 legislators, 73 are chosen by districts. Six are reserved for elected indigenous lawmakers, while the remaining 34 reflect party popularity. The more votes they secure, the more seats they can fill from their own pre-submitted rosters. The new legislative session starts February 1st. Without a clear leader, the three blocs will have to find partners to push laws through or risk a deadlock in legislation.